Hello everyone, uh, this is my first video on this channel. Um, I'm a watercolor artist who has worked um, in the field for quite a few years. Um, I've been a, uh, an illustrator um, and this year in 2018 I'm starting a new career path. I'm starting um, to do more fine art and I'm hoping to log that on this channel. Um, today I thought I'd show um, my mini uh, travel watercolor kit and what I carry um, when I'm when I need to just grab a quick small kit you know I'm not going to be doing any big paintings with something like this uh, this is something more for um, just like little sketchbook work things like that so what I have here is a Maxpedition case and um, it has some molly webbing on the back, so you can attach it to other, um, uh, you know, other bags and things like that if you need to. It's kind of a military thing where you can clip, use this mesh to clip onto other bags. Um, it has a Velcro patch on the front, so I've got my little, my little fun meter sticker on there to remind myself that I'm having fun, <laughs> even when I'm frustrated. Okay, so this thing has a handle, a nice little handle to grab, and a zipper pouch that goes all the way around. Let's see. And this is what's inside my case. And I'll just kind of pull out each thing and kind of show you what I've got going on here. Um, carry a small ruler. In this big pocket back here, I carry my little sketchbook. I believe this is a either a moleskin or a pentallic. What is this? This is a moleskin. And so I I carry this to do little sketches of things. This is my nephew's dog that I uh, did one July Fourth at a family gathering. Um, the little truck. So Frankenstein. I won't show you all these, but. This is the kind of stuff I do in this kind of book. This is just stuff that I do kind of for fun. Um, you know, if I've got time to kill somewhere, these are kind of monotone sepia little drawings. This is Brian. I think that's about it, yeah. Edward Hopper is one of my favorite artists, a little, little portrait of him. So I've got this little book in there. Let's see if I can keep this all sort of in frame here. I've got various pens. I've got a Micron uh, black pen that I would use for more like line drawings. Um, instead of bringing white gouache, um, you know, paint, I, I use this little uh, white uh, white pen that works pretty well. I've got a mechanical pencil that I carry. Another ink pen. I believe this is a ball. No, this is more like a little felt tip. I don't use pens that much, but I like to have them in case I, I need to use them. This is a water brush. This is by Karandosh. Don't let my dog out there, I'm sorry. Um, see the brand there, and I really like these because what these do is they have a little kind of rubber grip thing right here and you can dip this into water and you pull this end out and it acts like a syringe and pulls the water into the pen not the pen the brush and then you can control the water flow with this little rubber squeeze part so that's handy to have I also have my travel brushes here I have a flat and this is an American Journey brand flat brush. I have a couple of travel brushes. Let me see if I can see a... Yeah, this is uh, Escoda Versatile, I believe is the name. Uh, these are fairly inexpensive brushes. I, I usually um, carry cheaper brushes in a smaller kit like this. So there's that round. It's a number, number six round from Escoda. And this one is not an Escoda. This one is a Joe Miller Signature Series, but it's a smaller round. I really like these travel brushes and the way that you can uh, protect the bristles and carry them around. 
got that. That's it for this side of the pouch. On this side, I carry my water, which is in these two little bottles. Each carries about two ounces of water, and um, these used to be shampoo bottles. And I just pulled the labels off, and now I've got a pretty decent little supply of water to carry with me. So the idea of this kit is so that I have everything that I need um, to paint. And so my water cup is this little collapsible water cup. Uh, it's made by a company called, I don't know if you can see it on there, Sea to Summit. It's probably like a hiker's cup, but it's a nice little tiny kind of water cup that, that works pretty well for, for working in a book, you know, smaller like this. This is maybe three by five or something like that, a smaller book like that. Um, I also have my palette, and I love looking at what, what, other, at what other people have in their little travel kits and what kind of palettes they use and that kind of thing. That's kind of why I'm doing this video. I thought other people might be interested in my stuff because I'm interested in all of your stuff and what you carry in your, your little travel kits. So this is a little bijou box style um, watercolor palette. Um, it's actually uh, a whiskey painter um, pri private stock. I think they just use the same stampers that everybody else uses. Um, but it's a nice little uh, bijou box style watercolor kit. I've got a lot of paint in there. Um, and I carry um, a little bit of paint. You know, they're pretty small wells. This has a little, little metal dividers that come out and hold my little uh, paint cups that I fill myself. Little pallet, pallet trays. I don't know what they're called. I can't remember what these are called all of a sudden. But that's my uh, my little box, little painter box. I also, oh, real quick. I also have this, and I glued a magnet onto, this is like the kind of thing that would be bent under, and you'd clip it on, but I bent it out this way and put a magnet on there. And this becomes a nice little reservoir for just a little extra water while I'm holding the pallet. So this has a lid. And I can pour just a little water in here so that between between this and this, I have enough water, you know, for dirty water and dipping in here for a little clean water. And that kind of just magnetizes and stays right on there when I need it. So that works pretty well. I have a little spray bottle for wetting the paints or whatever I need. It's just got water in it. I also carry a quarter. <laughs> Sometimes I'll take pictures of my, my little sketchbook here and I always put a quarter next to it to kind of show the scale and show that it's actually a pretty small little, <laughs> little sketch. I also carry what, you know, folded up paper towels in this back pocket here. So, I got those, because as every watercolorist knows, you really do need some kind of rag or paper towels to, uh, to dab your artwork if you need to, you know, get some excess water off or if you need to wipe your brushes, whatever. So that's about it. Oh, I also carry a clip. I'm making a mess here. <laughs> I carry a clip to help keep the book open. Like if I'm painting, I like to clip this so it'll hold at least that side down while I'm working on this side. That's kind of what this uh, little hair band is for too. I can clip, um, you know, this has its own little elastic band built into the book, but if I want it more to the edge, I can use something like this get it way over so I have more room to paint. I also usually carry a kneaded eraser in here. I'm noticing that I don't have that in here so I can, um, you know, when I work with my pencil in the sketchbook, I can have the ability to erase. Um, so that's usually in here, but that's about it for this small kit. I also have a larger kit um, that I carry when I go out and uh, do plein air painting. And I will be showing that in the future. It's more of a, you know, a whole bag, a bigger bag and 
and uh, tripod setup. But I'll show that at some point. I just wanted to do an initial little uh, video here and show what I have in my uh, my smaller kind of mini kit and uh, what I use to uh, you know take out and paint if I'm uh, just killing time somewhere you know and a lot of times I'll use reference off my my phone to paint from or um, uh, I usually use uh, my larger kit for plain air type of work but. This is just kind of a fun kit to have around with me. So, hope you enjoyed this. Um, I'm looking uh, to do more videos in the future. Um, so stay tuned.